Dajahao. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt. Thank you for joining me as we study and learn beautiful Chinese. The beauty of this channel is that we're all learning together. So I want to just, I kind of want to piggyback. I like, that's a good word. We're going to go back over this for a little bit and talk about, we, we talked about how isolated China was. We're going to talk about who it was that they were in contact with the few countries, being that they were separated by vast gorges in, to, at the Tibet border, sorry, not the, to, the Burma border, and the plateau in, the, in Tibet, the vast, spacious, uh, just the huge frontier where there were just few, very few people in the Northwest and uh, the northern part of China. So who did, who did they have contact with? Let's find out. Contacts with other lands undoubtedly took place with India through the Northwest Corridor. I, I, isn't that called the Silk Road? I think that's the Silk Road, right? Uh, as in the coming of Buddhism along trade routes with the Arab world by sea to Canton, with Southeast Asia by constant seaborne trade, and with the West in a small trickle over land through Central Asia and much later in a flood by world sea routes. Okay, so mainly, sounds like it was the uh, um, Silk Road, mostly. And, um, and Central Asia? I think that's just what it said, you know, the Arab world and the Silk Road in India. Those were the main people they had, and some trade route, uh, some some sea, uh, the people that came by sea were, they went to Canton, or Guangzhou, which is now, is the capital of the Guangdong province. All right, so with that being said, now I mainly, I really want to focus on the people groups. There are 56 ethnic groups in China. There's only one majority. And they're called, I put the Chinese character up here, Han. And most people claim, I'm not saying that they're necessarily wrong, I have seen some Chinese people find out by doing 23andMe, uh, find out that their ancestry is not quite what they thought it was. They thought they were Han and they ended up being like half Han and, and another and then half minority group. So the rest, the rest of them are minority groups. 55 Chinese minor, minority groups. Most of them are in, so you have Mongolia. Mongols is a people group. So I started with the largest group first and all the way down to the smallest group. I think the ta Tatars I think that was in the northeastern part of China, uh, but most of the minority groups now are in the west, northwest, and in Tibet, in the southwest, and Xijiang, Xinjiang, in the northwest, and northern. Um, there are there are minority groups spread it throughout, but the large majority of them are in the southwest and the northwest and northern China, like Inner Mongolia. All right, so with that, I don't know if you can read all that, but 55 minority groups. And the largest one, I think, is only like 1.7% of the, of the rest of the 8%. And that's something like, it's like over 10 million people. I know, because of how large the population of China is anyway. Okay. Now, now let's get to our characters. Let's get to the lesson of our characters. And can you see this phrase? Now, something that my Chinese friend suggested. Let me see if I can lower this a little better. Raise it. And there we go. This four character, these four characters, it is a question. Now, one of my Chinese friends suggested maybe I should at least say it in Chinese. It's not like you know it anyway, that's fine. 
Um, I'm going to say it slowly. It is, a, it is what I call, we call this the phrase of the video, but it is a complete question it, or, or thought. It is, so it is a question. So, ni zai gama. Ni zai gama. That's how, how, you, how they would say it. Let me say it slower. Ni zai gama. Ni zai gama. Okay? Question. That's a question. All right. First character. One. Oh, three, three strokes. It means to fly. The second one is three strokes. To defend, to protect, to guard. The third character, to study, to practice. This is three strokes. That's three strokes. The, the fourth one is ugly or shameful. One, two, three, four strokes. The fifth, fifth character, towel or scarf or some kind of piece of cloth. It's, it's a small piece of cloth. One, two, three, three strokes. Okay, now number six, have not, did not, or not. One, two, three, four, five, five strokes. Okay, let's go, let's go over the stroke order. <laughs> the first one is to fly, three strokes. So as you can tell, that means that you don't lift your hand in the first stroke. One, so just one whole stroke. One direction to the right, and then you curve down, and then you hook up. One stroke. Stroke two. Stroke three. This is to fly. Okay. The next one is stroke one, stroke two, stroke three. To defend, to protect, to guard. Three strokes. Not three strikes, three strokes. All right. To study, the next one is to study, to practice. It has a couple more definitions, but those are the closest to each other. Uh, both of them are verbs. I figure let's put the verbs together. When we do the definitions, it's probably the best thing to do, right? So the first one is one big, huge one. One stroke. It's all together. Two, you go up. Three, you go down. Three strokes. To study, to practice. Okay, next is ugly or shameful. So, one, two, three, four. So this one, this, the top one is going to be a little bit longer than the middle. The middle one's the shortest. The bottom one is the longest horizontal line medium or middle one small one long one that's one two three four four strokes ugly or shameful number five one two three all right, this is towel or scarf or some kind of piece of cloth. Like a, a bath towel, a kitchen towel. Okay, the last one is, um, looks like you get the short horizontal line and then the long horizontal line. So one, two, three, four, five strokes. This is have not, did not, or not. It's just a way, a way to say not. It's a negative. And that was one, two, three, four, five strokes. So we have
three strokes, three strokes, three strokes, five strokes. One, two, three, four, wait, four. One, two, four. Four strokes, three strokes, one, two, three, four, five strokes. Okay, so three to five strokes to fly, to defend, to protect, to guard, to study. This is the third character. To study, to practice. The fourth one, ugly, shameful. The fifth one, towel or scarf or a piece of cloth. And the sixth one, have, not, did not, and not. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. 55 minority, minority groups. 56 ethnic groups all together. And most people... Most people identify themselves as Hun, and that's uh, 90, about 92%. Uh, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it, liked it, uh, learned something new. Uh, stick around, we're gonna learn some new things. We're gonna keep going through that culture book, um, learn some history, maybe something about the dynasties, cuisine. I got plenty of books we can look through that. I got, maybe I can bring some, friends, some Chinese friends and we could talk, if they might be from a certain part of China and they could tell us a little bit about the cuisine um, and uh, maybe they can expound because they might be traveled very well throughout China and they know the different kinds of cuisines from the different parts and they could explain it to us um, so anyway subscribe hit the bell so so you can be notified of the next video when I upload it and uh, I hope you guys liked it see you guys later thanks for, to all my subscribers. I believe I'm at 25 right now, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Sai Jian.